everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Once again, it is Monday and it's time for What You Make in Monday. We are still on the Whole30, so I have a new Whole30 recipe to try. It is sweet potato pad thai. So this is kind of intriguing, but I have another new gadget to try out. We got this spiralizer a couple weeks ago. I've been using it a lot to make zucchini noodles. I've made sweet potato noodles one time before, and I've also made curly fries to cook in our air fryer. So far, I'm really loving it. I do have an issue with trying to spiralize sweet potato fries for some reason. I just think because the potato is so thick or I just don't know how to work the machine right, but I'm going to give it a go and hopefully I can get enough sweet potato noodles for this recipe. So here we go. that terrible attempt of trying to move the settings, change out the different cutters for it, I kind of gave up. So thankfully my husband came home and messed with it a little bit and he was able to get me all of this out of the mess that I made earlier. So now that those are done, I am going to get them cooking on the stove have the pan heating up here with some sesame oil and add in the spiralized sweet potatoes. Oops. And then this is going to cook in here for about six to seven minutes. While I am waiting for the sweet potatoes to cook, I am going to make the pad thai sauce. So you will need a fourth a cup of almond butter. It's a giant mess since the oil kind of separates here. Try my best. that and then I will need a fourth of a cup of coconut amino sauce which I had never heard of prior to Whole30 but this is a gluten-free kind of replacement for soy sauce so first time giving it a try similar in color doesn't really smell like much, but willing to give it a try. And then I actually found some fish sauce at Target. I didn't have it for my last recipe, so we'll need a tablespoon of fish sauce. Slow going here. And then I'm going to do about 
two tablespoons of lime juice and a tablespoon of white vinegar. Whisk this up. It's supposed to be a thick sauce. I'm hoping it'll come together. It looks pretty good and now I'm gonna go back to the stove and cook up the chicken. I'm going to add in another tablespoon of sesame oil. Get that heat it up. And I get to use some shallots again this time. And if you've been watching any of my videos, you know that I love garlic. So I'm going to add a little extra. Just to give the sweet potato noodles a little more flavor. I'm going to mix this around for a few minutes until it gets the garlic cooking. And then I will add in the chicken. Add in the chicken. I did four chicken breasts chopped up. I'm going to let the chicken cook in here about five to six minutes. Now that the chicken is cooked, I'm actually going to add in some egg. Scramble that up. Stir this up until it makes scrambled eggs. Okay, the eggs are cooked. So I'm going to add sweet potato noodles back in. And stir. And I'm going to add in the sauce. I'll stir and then I will come back for the taste test. Switch up the scenery for my taste testing. <laughs> Here we go. It tastes really good. I added some crushed red pepper on mine just to give it a little bit extra spice. The recipe did say to add cilantro, but we are not big cilantro fans, so I left that off, as well as some crushed up peanuts, so I left that off, but you can add it on if you like it. I haven't had pad thai a ton, but I thought this would be a great recipe to try, and once again, a fairly easy recipe to make. It took me about 30 minutes or so. A little extra with my sweet potato noodle debacle, but <laughs> that is solved. But there you have it. Sweet potato, pad thai, two thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for more videos like 
this and I will see you next time. Bye.